16 inch sea robin. They eat a lot of the same forage that fluke do. Let's just take a close look here. Their mouths are pretty big. This is a like a rough sandpaper type of feel. Don't really have teeth. It's more of like a almost like a catfish type of uh, mouth. The rough sandpaper. And you see here they got a lot of spines. Now these spines are not poisonous or venomous, but just like any other spine on a fish, there's bacteria on the surface. So if you get pricked with one of this, bacteria gets in your cut. You, know, you can get an infection and you might have to go to the hospital, get antibiotics, that whole thing. So you got to be careful handling these things. And as you can see, they have quite a few spikes. Their fins are, the dorsal is pointy. Then they have these wings, it helps them glide. And then they have these little feet to kind of help them crawl. So they're, they're very interesting fish Daddy? that are very common in our waters. Daddy? Daddy, so I'm going to start with this side first. I, it's really almost like any other filet. I'm just going to come along the back. Go all over top of those rib bones right there. So that's one fillet. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of meat. You waste a little bit here, but really, there's not that much either there. I mean, they're all head. Look, from here to here is head. I'd say one third of their body is a head. So as I'm filleting the other half of this fish, just want to talk about sea robins in general. I think there's no secret anymore that they definitely taste good. Uh, it's just the cleaning part is probably the most painstaking part of the process. And I know people have told me and some are successful that you can peel back the skin and get better yields similar to the way you would clean a puffer fish but for me personally when i've done that you get a almost like membrane taste that's left on the fillet so it, i prefer actually just filleting it as a normal fish and then cutting the skin off so that i can get the skin and the membrane and some of the bloodline off the fillets there's just a few pin bones right here. So we remove some of that dark meat. That's what we're left with. Tin foil. Just kind of make like a boat. Right. A little olive oil in there. Filet in the olive oil. That's it. I didn't rinse or do anything else with these fillets. Okay. This is the uh, secret sauce. So it's just a barbecue rub. You can really use any barbecue rub. This is one of my 
this is one of my favorite for all kinds of things. And here, so if you don't have barbecue rub, basically salt, paprika, garlic, turmeric, and then like a smoke flavor. We're just gonna generously put it like that. That's it. Only on the top. That's it. And we're gonna throw this on the grill. There's a, there's a fire there. I'm just making this easier to grab later on. That's what you want. It's a little awkward the way I'm doing this, but it's because of the lighting. There's a flaky meat right there. You want to try some, Peter? The fish? Goodness. It's just like any flaky meat. Sea robins taste like 25% bluefish. 75% blackfish. Has the blackfish texture and a slight bit of the grayish meat on a bluefish, but really tastes more like a blackfish. Look at that. How good that looks. Mm. Dead serious. Go out and try this. Look at that. Come on now, look at that meat.